In the bustling heart of the nation's capital, a legacy began. 50 years ago, a visionary group of neurosurgeons decided to make their voices heard. Welcome to 50 Years of Neurosurgery Advocacy. For the past five decades, the Washington Committee has stood as a pillar of neurosurgical advocacy, representing the interests and needs of neurosurgeons nationwide. The Washington Committee's mission has consistently evolved to meet the needs of our rapidly changing healthcare landscape, ensuring neurosurgeons and our patients have a strong voice in critical national discussions. Since 1975, the American Association of Neurological Surgeons and the Congress of Neurological Surgeons have established a formidable presence in Washington, D.C. It all started with a mission to influence federal health care policy for the betterment of our profession and our patients. The Washington Committee empowers neurosurgeons and their patients by advocating for expanded access to quality neurosurgical care across the nation. Through a bipartisan approach, the committee champions neurosurgery as a vital component of healthcare excellence in America. From the early days of navigating Medicare legislation to addressing the malpractice crisis, our Washington committee has been at the forefront. With each passing decade, we've expanded, growing from six dedicated members to over 35 experts, each representing diverse realms of responsibility across the specialty of neurosurgery. The commitment of pioneers like Dr. Lewis Finney and Dr. Donald Stewart laid the groundwork. Today, their legacy continues as we champion causes from medical liability reform, reigning in the abusive tactics of third-party payers, GME funding, to fair Medicare payments. We advocate tirelessly to ensure neurosurgeons have a seat at the table. Often, we must harness the strength of allies. Neurosurgery has been at the forefront of forming and leading numerous coalitions, including Doctors for Medical Liability Reform, the Surgical Care Coalition, the Regulatory Relief Coalition, the Alliance of Specialty Medicine, and many more. Most may not realize the effort behind coordinating the complex elements needed to influence policy. This includes understanding coding, assessing the implications of measure development, forming alliances within neurosurgery and with other societies, and communicating strategies to members, medical organizations, and government entities. Yet, the Washington Committee team has excelled for decades showing intelligence, meticulousness, and professionalism that makes our profession a leader. Our work is more crucial than ever. In a rapidly changing healthcare landscape, we provide a unified voice advocating for prior authorization reform, banning unreasonable non-competes, research funding, and patient care improvements. During my tenure on the Washington Committee, I found that government bureaucracy operates much like a spider weaving its web. This process often involves a series of small, deliberate actions that may seem harmless, but can lead to significant consequences. To avoid being caught in this web, one must remain vigilant anticipate the results of minor steps, and influence the web's construction whenever possible. Whether in private practice, academia, or residency training, every neurosurgeon feels the impact of decisions made in Washington. Our advocacy is a collective effort, transcending personal politics to focus on what truly matters, our profession, and our patients. In 2009, as a fourth year neurosurgery resident interested in health policy and advocacy, I had the chance to be the CSNS Washington Committee Fellow, collaborating with neurosurgery leaders focused on advocacy. Now, as a CNS appointee, I've turned that initial interest into action, advocating to cut through red tape and focus on providing the best evidence-based care. I look forward to the next 50 years and our committee's accomplishments. As we celebrate this momentous anniversary, we invite you to join us. Together, let's continue to shape the future of neurosurgery.